Well, the Boys and Girls Club has been a cornerstone for youth dealing with crises, and the recent Monterey Park mass shootings unfolded just two blocks from their nearest club location. As the community mourns, the nonprofit organization is opening its doors for programming and resources to help local youth heal mentally, physically, and emotionally. And joining us now is the CEO of the Boys and Girls Club of West San Gabriel Valley, Junior Zubak. Thanks so much for being with us. Uh, our condolences to the whole community. I know this is not been easy um, and not only for our LA community and Southern California community at large but for the neighborhood your team's club is a part of uh, how is everyone doing you know th thank you for having me this morning um, I I'm, I'm honored to be a part of the sharing the what, what's happening you know it's been it's been a challenging week and um, you know we we have always prepared for traumatic incidents with the Boys and Girls Club to make sure we're able to respond but we We've never been re prepared at, to the level of what we experienced this past week. Um, I, we, we can see through the, through the eyes of the kids, they are hurting. Um, but the one thing that we are providing is reassurance that the club is here for them. Um, we've been as you know open as early as Sunday to make sure that the emotional care and counseling and food and just a place, a safe haven that they could come to to um, feel like they're a part of something larger than their extended family. Can you share uh, what you're hearing from the kids, kind of what they've shared maybe that they're going through and also what resources that you are offering to help them? The, yes, it, the, the, we're hearing kids are feeling um, un, unsafe. They're feeling emotionally stressed. They're feeling a level of anxiety. Um, and that's what the club is here for. And the club is offering counseling. The club is offering an open space for them to come to feel comforted. Um, and we are preparing to bring back the, the, uh, the things that they're, they're known to feel um, appreciated by offering them the services where they're feeling most comfortable with people that they know, which is the staff. And it's hard, I mean, for anyone to try to make any kind of sense of this, uh, right? So what are you telling the kids when they're coming to you and, and asking for advice and information? You know, what, what we're doing is we're having talk. We're having the open space for them to be able to share their feelings and emotion and really listening to what, um, what they're experiencing and, and how they're feeling. And it's actually, it's been interesting because Children are very much resilient. And we have found that, you know, in situations like this, when traumatic incidents occur, you find that teens, particularly teens and preteens, want to do something. They want to be involved in something. And you see a high level of teen activism uh, come out of this as a project of developing uh, opportunity to, to go out and, and and, and put up um, opportunity for kids to come together to develop project against hate and violence. And, you know, the kids in this community, particularly coming out of the pandemic, have experienced a lot, particularly with anti-hate, with obviously COVID. Um, and the club has been a place for them to come and voice their concerns and share what we can do as a community together to heal. Well, you're certainly and a very I, I am, valuable yeah. resource. I'm sorry to cut you off there. Such a valuable yeah. resource to those kids. And we saw uh, how teenagers mobilized in the wake of the Parkland shooting um, with that movement. Junior Zubak, thank you so much for joining us this morning and our best to you and the entire organization. Thank you. Thank you for having me.